by Hashem Abiyue. Dash. Asin State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has issued a stern warning to the outgoing governor of Asin State, Boyega Oitola and the Asin State Independent Electoral Commission, ASAEC, against the purported plan to conduct local government elections across the local government councils, area councils and the local council development areas in Asin State, maintaining that it is illegal, unlawful and unconstitutional to embark on such wasteful exercise especially at this crucial period in the process of transition to the awaiting PDP administration a countdown to the taking over of power by the Austin state governor-elect, Senator Otamola Jackson Nurudin Adelaide The warning came on the heels of the reports from a reliable source filtering into the space and indicating that the rejected APC administration in Austin State led by the outgoing Governor Oitola and the APC have concluded plans to embark on such a legal, unlawful and unconstitutional voyage, which is targeted at siphoning Austin public funds over an exercise that would definitely turn to be wasteful and fruitless in the end. The Asin PDP wishes to remind Governor Oitola and his Asinek that for close to four years since the coming into office of Governor Oitola, and since the inauguration of Asinek by the Oitola-led APC administration, the APC has failed to conduct local government elections in the state, despite persistent demand by the PDP. It is also to be put on record that the PDP resorted to a litigation which is still pending before the High Court of Austin State in Haas M.139 2021 with PDP as the plaintiff, and Governor of Austin State, Attorney General of Austin State, the Austin State House of Assembly, the OSIDEC, the APC and the caretaker chairman in the LGAs, ACTIS and the LCDAs as defendants to question the legality propriety and lawfulness or otherwise of the caretaker committee set up by Governor Oitola instead of conducting valid local government elections to usher in a constitutionally recognized local government administration in Austin State, so the matter is subjudice. The concern of the PDP is further premised on the fact that by the provision of Section 28 of the Electoral Act, 2022, notice of any election must be given not less than 360 days before the holding of the election, while by the provision of Section 29 of the said Electoral Act, every political party fielding candidates for the election must submit the list of its candidates not later than 180 days before the election. By the doctrine of covering the field, the OSAC law cannot give a shorter notice for the holding of an election than what is contained in the Electoral Act, otherwise, the OSAC law would be running into a collision course with the Electoral Act, and in that circumstance, it is the OSAC law that would give way, while the Electoral Act guides through. This is the settled principle of law to which the attention of the Governor Oitola and Asaek is hereby drawn as in the case of Asaek. The Action Congress decided by the Supreme Court in 2011. Between now and 26 November, 2022 when the administration of Governor Oitola will come to an end, it is clearly less than 360 days, therefore making the planned local government election dead on arrival being a nullity ab initio. It is on this premise that the PDP hereby alerts members of the public to another wasteful spending by the APC administration in Austin State, an administration that failed to conduct local government elections for close to four years, blaming same on lack of enough funds, only to wake up in the wake of countdown to transition to the PDP administration to begin the process of the local government election. This is clearly one of the indicators of the concerns raised by the governor-elect in a release on Thursday, SIC, 22nd of July. 2022 that APC administration has embarked on a last-minute looting spree, conversion of public assets, pilfering of public property and conversion of Austin public assets to private use. Austin PDP hereby calls on the people of Austin State to rise to the occasion by holding Governor Oitola and Asaek responsible in this voyage of illegality and unconstitutionally. The governor is hereby advised to focus on how to give account of his stewardship and to set up a transition committee of joint teams of the outgoing and incoming governors so as to lay a solid foundation for a seamless, transparent and hitch-free handing over of power to the incoming governor, Senator Otamola Adelaide Post November 26, 2022. At Views Exclusive Rights, Hashim Abiyue, Secretary Austin PDP Legal Committee, July 22, 2022.